Good morning friends! Welcome back to another classroom setup vlog. So today is day three in my classroom and today's focus is going to be finding a home for everything that is still out. So I have quite a few things that are still out and about. Um, right now I'm getting ready to do a project though. This is my community supplies which I know we won't be using but I still need to put it away. So I have bagged all of the different supplies and so all I have to do is kind of empty them into the bins, put them away and then that's finished. Here I still have some black bins. I think I'm going to save these and use them for STEM activities. So I'll probably store them somewhere unless I need them. And if I do put them out, I think I might put them up here and then label them. I don't know yet. Um, and then I have some buckets and things that I need to put away. These cloth things go in my little behind the desk thing. I think I might get another bookshelf for myself back here just because I do, I did have a big black bookshelf, you guys remember, and that broke. So I think I might get a small one just to kind of keep over here. This is not staying here. Um, but just stuff that I need to put away. Um, I need to take all the construction paper out and sort it by color. So that job will probably take me a while. I can probably do that while I sit in trainings um, if I'm not taking notes or something. Um, which I probably will be, but you know, whatever, I, I can sit there and do that quietly. And then these are bulletin board paper that I need to hang up. I am going to take this one down. I thought it was cute, but I'm not, I have some really cute, uh, bulletin board paper that I want to use there. And then, um, obviously I need to arrange the desks. So that will be interesting. I know that I currently have 28 desks. And I have more than 28 stools. So I know that one of my teammates was really interested in the stools. So I might share them with her. Um, and then all I'll have left is classroom library. So right now I'm going to focus on supplies and sorting those and get this box out of here. And then maybe after that I will focus on trying to empty these like table areas because once I can get these all cleaned off then I can start moving desks around so maybe I'll try for that today. point where I'm like questioning my my choices um, where I'm putting certain things uh, where I had the classroom library there's no plugs which means no lamps which means no happy Charlotte um, I think I don't know I don't know what to do maybe I should put my library up in the front I don't know guys. I don't know. I'm questioning whether or not I should keep my desk here or if I should switch that around. I don't know what to do. I went ahead and put all the books in the bookshelf. So that's done. I wanted to only have this many books for students plus the picture books and informational books that go in here that's it i put a lot of my literature studies and like read alouds books that i don't want the kids using on their own <laughs> up here so like 
because of Winn-Dixie. I don't want the kids reading that on their own. Louisiana's Way Home, Esperanza Rising. These are books that I want to do read-alouds with, um, and so I don't want the kids to like read them ahead of time. And then these are just all lit studies, and like these are these are for ELA for fourth grade ELA when you do like the. Cinderella thing, so I have those. I never want to get rid of them because I love that unit. So if I ever taught fourth grade ELA again, I would do that, but anyway, I put all my ELA, um, or my, sorry, read alouds over here. And that's pretty much all I've done since I've talked to you guys. Oh, I did switch this up. Okay, so I had some other stuff on this um, rolling cart, and I decided to go ahead and put my black pink and blue bins on this because I felt like it just looked better and then I put it over here and then I moved some of the stuff that was on that cart onto this because I felt like it just looked better being like tucked away in a cabinet rather than on that black thing I don't know it just feels more hidden here and then I decided I'm going to probably store my construction paper on these um, I'll probably move these over there and then just do construction paper right here in the middle. And then that way we can see what colors we have and stuff. And then I still have to put these away. These will probably go on this somewhere. And then obviously other stuff, but I don't know. I'm torn because I thought maybe I could put my classroom library here and I could put the bench in the middle and then I could have like a cute little setup going on. But I also think that my desk area is like way too big. It just having an extra piece of furniture, the teacher desk, I, I can't get rid of it. So I'm going to use it. But I was thinking maybe if I put this black table back in this corner and put the fridge underneath it then I can better then I won't have as much like on this side of the desk like it'll just be this little corner so I don't know yet my teammate is on her way and I'm gonna ask her what she thinks and then hopefully I'll have an answer um, this table is I'm, I'm trying to make this like a small group space slash like a countertop, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so that's all for now. I'm gonna sit and ponder what I'm gonna do. And then I'll report back. Hey you guys, so quick update. I decided that I'm going to set the room up as if there were no issues with social distancing. The reason I'm gonna do that is because one, I sincerely doubt we're coming back August 17th and that's just the reality. Um, and two, I want to give the kids a sense of hope and some excitement for when they return to school, whether that's social distancing or not. So what I've done is I have 28 desks. So I have made four groups of seven. My desks are really big. So I tried to make them more like lab tables in a way, I guess you could call it. Um, they're kind of longer lab tables. I could possibly make, um, different groupings and do I could make different groupings but for now I kind of like the way this is setting up because I have plenty of room in the back for like community time and then I have a lot more space in the front and then I have I'll just show you um, I'm moving some stuff around right now but I think I like this and then if they give us the signal that we're coming back for sure the kids have to be social distance then I'll move the desks and figure it out but for now I'm gonna leave it the way it is so here's what I have I have four groups of seven. And I like them going this way because then I know I can see all students at a time. Nobody's back is to me, except for like this kid right here, but they can just turn around. Um, and then I like it, so I'm, I'm pushing everything backwards a couple of feet, so everybody, these, this one will come back here. Um, so I have, still have room to walk. But I like having so much room back here for community time. I can totally move these black tables away, put them up front, keep them up front until I need them. And I have this whole back space for like community circle, for like group projects. I have tons of space. So I really like that. 
whole aspect. So that's what I'm doing. I'm moving everything back. And then once everything is back here, I'll have so much room up front for like anything. You know, when I dance, when I put on my shows, I'll have so much room up front because everything will be this far back. So I'll have plenty of space up front. Like I said, I could totally put my small group table up here. Um, the options are endless. So that's what I'm working on. This is pretty much finished. I have a lot of empty crates, you guys, but that's great because I have a lot of like little random things around. And so when I'm ready to really put stuff away, I have plenty of storage. I have room for supplies if the kids bring it in. I have room for stuff if I get it from the district. I am set. So I still need to do walls and stuff like that. So I still have some things out on my table that go up on the walls, things that go up on shelves. And I'm really pleased with how it's turning out. So I'm gonna go ahead and move these tables and then I think I'm done for the day minus a couple little things. So I'm gonna set you guys down and I'm gonna move some desks. It is now 1.50 and I am going to go ahead and leave. I'm sitting down and eating an Uncrustable because I'm really healthy. So. I will be back on Monday to start doing trainings. Monday is the 13th, I believe. Yes, the 13th. I have a bunch of scheduled trainings for that day. They all are to be done while in here. So I will probably, in between those meetings, put up walls. I'm going to do a wall for anchor charts for my math and ELA teachers. If we have to come back and rotate, I'll put a space there so that they can bring their anchor charts and put them there. And then I'm going to do a science wall and a social studies wall. Then behind me, I'll do my normal like teacher wall so that I can hang stuff up that's mine. And then behind the library over there, I'll put some sort of like motivational wall. And then I have my, I'm using Josie Bensko's classroom rules and posters for science and engineering. So I'll probably put those somewhere. I'm not going to put up an alphabet. Because I feel like every year kids don't use it. Fourth graders, they know their ABCs. And I'm not teaching cursive, so I don't need to have that up. A um, couple things I need to put on my list. So what I'm gonna do before I leave is look around the room and put together a list of stuff I need to buy because it is now the weekend and I can go out. So I'm gonna get a black tablecloth and um, I need to measure that table. <laughs> I 
I want to get something really cute to do for my little coffee bar because I'm going to put a little coffee bar back here. I found a couple things on Amazon that I might get, but I need to get some extension cords, black tablecloth. I have the towels and spray. I want to get um, one more black crate. I don't think I need the black bookshelf I was talking about earlier. I'm gonna get some hanging pom-poms so I can hang them from the ceiling. I need to get some black contact paper, possibly, and some black vinyl. So yeah, that's what I need to go get. I hope you guys enjoyed this classroom setup video. I'm so excited to be back. I'm happy to be teaching online as long as I'm here at work and not having to teach from home. That was really a struggle for me, but I think I can do it if I'm here and do it well. So if you guys are not, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also follow me on Instagram. I like to post there a lot more often than I post here on YouTube. And I'll see you guys for day four of Classroom Setup in the next video. Bye!